It's just like a day at the beach. It's summery and fun. You got sand everywhere. <laughs> And my name is Becky. And we're the Sire Girls. And we are back bringing you another episode of Style Selected. Where Style Selected is a series where we make over somebody's space. I come with the design, Becky comes up with the design, and they have to select which design they like better. So these are our friends from college. They started a company together. They're media, film, editors. They do a bunch of things except for design spaces, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> they have put together, though, a sweet little filming corner setup where they shoot some cool stuff. So we're not going to touch that, but the rest of their office we are. We need some work. We, we need some work. So we're going to introduce you to Frank, who is going to be the spokesperson of these bros. Bro, bro person. The spokes bro. The brokes person. <laughs> spokes bro, come on in here. Come on. So can you tell us what some issues you guys have with the space? Well, first and foremost, we need another desk for our fourth member. OK. Uh, Seems fair. Three. We also need a better table that does not have stuff fall through it. Yeah, Splash. I hear you. Maybe tell us about this couch. Looks well loved. So this well couch loved. was here when we uh, when we started renting this space. It came partially furnished, mm -hmm. hence the weird table. <laughs> um, right. So yeah, not in love with the couch. Uh, generally, we're having a lot of storage issues. Mm, good to know. Uh, also, we don't have a spot or anything to really show our work to clients when they come by. Oh, so, so clients need to come in here. Yeah, yeah. We, we'd like, like a little spot for uh, just, yeah, showing them. So semi-client ready. We're working on. Bro semi -client hang, ready. client ready. Yeah. Whew, tall order, man. <laughs> yeah. Anything you love about the space that you want to keep? Uh, the coffee machine. Okay, <laughs> um, helps get work machine. done. <laughs> okay, so I think that we're gonna come up with a plan and then you're gonna have to choose which one that you like and then we'll go with that. Okay, no pressure, sweet. We will get back to you in like an hour? Okay, cool. Okay, okay. So I just, I'll just be outside? Be around, just be around. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> All right, so my plan for the guys' studios is kind of a vintage, eclectic, chic. I want to go with lots of deep reds and wood tones. So I want to replace their desks with salvaged wood plank desks and then get them a big red vintage carpet to cover the whole flooring. And I think it'd be really cool to do the whole ceiling in Edison string bulbs that give it this really cool like garage outdoor porchy vibe. And then as a statement piece, I think it would be awesome to find them some vintage red movie theater seats that their clients can sit in and it also doubles as an art piece and like a total statement piece in their studio. Sweet. Very cool. Very cool. That's Thanks, awesome. Guys. So my plan for the room is a little bit more minimalist, more black and white. I want to do this really cool DIY for their desks with a concrete top and filing cabinets as the bases. I want to change up the shelving a little bit but keep that piping look and add a little kitchenette because they need place to consolidate all their kitchen appliances. I'll bring it in a small couch so that their clients can have a place to sit. And I want to get them a projector screen that will come down in front of the window so they can showcase their work. Knowing you and knowing the guys you work with, mm -hmm. what do you think is going to be the best plan to go with? It is such a hard decision. It is really hard. I mean, I love both of them a lot. In terms of functionality, I'm really loving the uh, Kelsey's idea with the uh, mm -hmm projector screen and the blackout curtains, that has been a big thing. Mm. Really torn because I love the movie theater scene. So this is so cool. <laughs> this is really hard. But just judging, just knowing the other guys, we do have a very industrial looking space, so I'm thinking it's probably going to have to be Kelsey. Ooh, that's okay. That's so tough. I just want to make I both of them so happen. Bad right now. No, Don't feel bad. It's, it's You're getting an awesome space either way. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about Kelsey's. Would have been excited to do this one too, but I feel like that's going to turn out awesome. And if it yeah. works better for you guys, it's better for us. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So next step is we have to clear this space out so we can make it over. Can we get cool. your help for that? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm really excited that they chose my design, but there are some DIYs that I'm really nervous about. They are big projects that we haven't really tackled before. If we pull them off, this is going to be one of the coolest DIYs that TSG has ever done. We should have made a little chain. Choo -choo. Oh god, maybe we should take this stuff out. Uh, Frank, are you leaving us? Where are you going? Backpack on? No, 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 no. We need you, man. To oh, Davey can help out. us. Davey, come on. Hey. So there's so much stuff to move out, but it's 
Perfect timing that Davey, another owner of the studio, just showed up and he can help us move. Nice to see you, another nice member of Sideways Studios. Yes, sir. Come you are out. in perfect timing to help us clean out. Teamwork. Teamwork. Oh my god! You guys have a dance floor in here. Go! Nailed it. Oh wow, nailed it. Space is empty and it's finally time for us to work our magic. This means Frank and Navy, you gotta go. You gotta go? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We will see you tomorrow with a totally new space. Oh my God. You excited? Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, first step, let's take down anything that we don't wanna keep. Yeah, so we do we wanna start with the concrete though, just so it can like start drying? Well, I mean, literally it won't take long to take these pipes down. Yeah. I think I want them out of the way before yeah. any concrete or anything. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the plan for the shelves is to take down all of the shelves that are on the back window wall, but then reuse some of those parts for some shelving later. We're also gonna paint the existing green piping pieces black because black is cuter than green. All right, time to build some giant desks. Yay! So excited! So the plan for these desks is to do a faux concrete slab. It's only faux because we're putting a layer of concrete onto an existing table, as opposed to building an entire table out of concrete itself. Okay, so we're doing filing cabinet, trestle, filing cabinet, concrete slab. Yup, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Please think, go well, please go well, please go well. So I guess we should do it like out here and then we'll move it back. But first, let's get the desk set up. Yes. There you go. There you go. Yes. Yes, table. So to do these concrete table tops, we think we have to sand it so mm -hmm. that the concrete will stick. Yeah. Or cement, whatever you want to call it. It's looking really good, though. It is. Ah. So let's first sand it up, and then we'll get to concreting. Yeah. Sounds okay. awesome. So we roughed up our tabletops, taped off the edges. Now it's time to whip up a batch of cement. This has been an idea in our heads for quite some time, and I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. But we're about to find out. <sighs> okay, I think we just mix a big batch of concrete and then get it on the tables. Yeah. And then worry about smoothing it after. Yeah. Ooh, so heavy. You can do it. Don't breathe it in. Four. Double, double, boil and trouble. Is that how it goes? We are not pros, but this will work. This is how this is how we get pro. We just like DIY things until we figure it out. <laughs> okay, we got concoction all good to go. Yeah, your witch concoction. <laughs> My brew. And then we're gonna smooth it on. Okay. Like. Wow. Ah. Okay, hold on. So I was pretty nervous about pulling this one off, but it's starting to look really, really good. We figured out that if you make your cement runnier, it's actually a lot easier to apply onto the desk. All right, I'm really happy with how this is looking so far, but we have to leave the concrete to set overnight. So meanwhile, we're going to paint the existing piping hardware and our shelves black and install a shelf on the opposite wall. Good, because 
then we can start putting stuff on them and it's gonna start to feel like finished soon. I know, are we allowed to do that though? I don't know, but it's one step in the right direction. I know. Usually we would like decorate last, but like, hey. Wow. Into it. Into it, be into it. All right, round two. That's all we could get done today, but it was a massive success. I can't wait to get back here tomorrow morning, finish the desks, and really finish the whole studio. Okay. These are dry and looking good. The table survived the night. It was low-key worried it'd be in pieces when we showed up, but it's looking great. This part's so smooth here, but we need to get it all looking relatively smooth. Bring in the sanders. Sanders, okay, do you think that we sand it first? Yes. And then take off the tape? Yes. And then seal? Yes. Looks like you're gonna rob the place. Rob it of cuteness. <laughs> Everybody's like, no. Pro tip, handkerchiefs can also double as a mask. Once we were done sanding and these tables were baby smooth, we took off the tape and then vacuumed up any of the extra dust. To make sure that these desks are super durable and smooth, we're adding a clear sealer on top. So we'll need to do a couple coats of sealer on these desks and they'll have to dry in between. So this is the perfect time to try and hang up their projector screen. Only thing is it's going into brick, which I've never done, but I think we can pull it off. All right, to get this job done, we're using a hammer drill, masonry drill bits, and really long screws that are meant for brick. And when I say it, it's like those three steps sound so easy, but this is really, really tough. No dice. Okay. Gracious. You can do it. It stopped moving. This is the part I hate. I quit. Nice. Okay, hold on. Yes! Woo! Okay, oh. only after eight hours now to get like, this on the wall. Do not recommend putting, hanging these up. It's a brick. <laughs> what the hell? What okay. were you thinking? But are you ready though? Yeah? I want to watch a movie. Oh! oh! Wait, it just goes? It just goes? Yeah, it Whoa. just goes. Look, it's getting darker in here too. Oh, the IMAX experience. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Literally, we could have only installed this and left everything the same, and the guys would have been like, Whoa, done, done. Good done. job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Yo, wait, do we need to put up curtains though? I don't think it goes the whole way. Look at how legit that is. <laughs> uh, if it is up the whole way, you wouldn't need any curtains. That is dope though. That is very cool. So I think it'd be awesome if these guys were able to black out this studio totally while they are filming anything. So we're hanging some blackout curtains, A, because they look really cool, and B, because they'll help make the room dark. Wow, have you done this before? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got you. So impressive. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, don't let the light off. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 So excited! Oh my god! I never thought I'd be so excited to hang some damn curtains. Only because it took so long. That took literally hours. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching the larpers. <laughs> wow, blackout, hun! Get blackout! Let's get blackout, Becky. They're really not blackout. 
Wow. Well, hopefully they still work. We were lied to. But we can carry on now. We can move the tables and yes! all that stuff, which is what I've been wanting to do since like 10 this morning. Let's open these. How do they look? Frame that window. Frame that window. Wait, not too far. Frame the window. Frame the window. I don't know what that means. That can mean anything. <laughs> it means it means good job. <laughs> okay, cool. So for the kitchenette, we have this tiny little table with tall pipe legs that fits perfectly with the rest of the studio. You get a kitchen. You get a kitchen. <laughs> You get a kitchen. A baby kitchen. A baby kitchen. And that pipe we painted. Here. We're using uh, pipes, man. We're using some of their existing pipe hardware to install this rail that we can hang their glassware on. And their kitchen appliances fit perfectly in this little area. Yes. I think just in line with this one. I don't know. Maybe or like higher? higher or lower, I want to say. It looks better. I feel like lower is in your face. Because the microwave the is microwave. Like higher. So like higher. Uh, and hanging like cups and stuff. So cute! Or anything else that their little hearts desire. Ooh, fancy wheelie table. Bringing in the, what, the 10th DIY we've made in here? I know, we made this in our office and it looks friggin' sweet. Yeah. So good, so good. And wheels because like, you just never know when you're a bro, bro studio when you're gonna need some more room. Yeah. So you can just so wheel flexible, it out of the way. So portable. Wheel it, wheel, wheel it in the way. Um, let's get their lighting in here. Yeah. We're so close. Home stretch, home stretch. Lighting time. For some awesome lighting, we're installing strip U lights onto these shelves and we're also getting them a matching lamp, the one they already had on the other side because matching just looks so much better. Yes. color, but we'll get to that later. Oh my goodness, are we like ready for the fun decor stuff now? Yeah, let's bring in ah! the chairs and all the decor. <sighs> then we can bring in the boys. And then the boys. Oh my god. Isn't that a song? Let's buy the rights to that song. Bring it in the... That's a song? I don't know, like from the like, like the 70s, 80s? Bring it in the boys? I don't know that one. <laughs> Play that song, <laughs> if it's a thing. That is a song. It's Bring on the Boys by Karen Young from 1978. But no, we didn't buy the rights, so you'll have to look that up after this episode. The course here just needs to be staged. I know, this staged. is a little bit of our stuff, a little bit of their stuff. Some DIYs that people might recognize Some that got DIYs. repainted. <laughs> yeah, guys, everybody that thought that this looked better without the gold, well. You got your wish. You got your wish. I like how for styling this space, we get to include some of our DIYs, some vintage and thrifted stuff, as well as some stuff that they had lying around, which was really cool. Our DIYs look so good being gifted on to someone else. They're really making this space look complete. Rolly chairs into rolly desk doesn't work, but guys! This looks so good! You did such a good job. Oh, the final touches really pulled it together. I okay. I guess. Bring them in. We're done. Ah. Let's go. Okay. And we have the projector. Ah. Ah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. A little, little further. A little further. Okay, on the count of three, you ready? Yeah. One, One two, two, three! Oh! oh. Do you guys like oh it? Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome yes. to your new office. Oh my God. It actually doesn't even look like the same place. That's amazing. Do you love it? I so, do. We love it so much. This is your new kitchen area. <laughs> wow. Kept your cups. Wow. Obviously, the desks are entirely brand new. Yep. And made by us. Custom concrete. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's giggles. A little bit. I'm like, I can't eat it. Okay, 
Are you guys ready for the pièce de résistance? <laughs> yes, de résistance. Wait for it. Oh, no way. Yeah way. Uh, Remote. This way you guys can project yeah. whatever you're working on onto the screen. So for cool. your clients that are gonna be like, wow. Relaxing in the new couch. I'm so oh, impressed, boys. That is very cool. On the curtains. We look so legit now. <laughs> That's incredible. Awesome. That is incredible, yeah. And we got you Hue lights up on the shelves. Controlled by your app. Yes. Wow. Change the colors. So a lot of this incredible. stuff you had, but we also got you some quirky, fun, like vintage finds. You think the other guys will love it too? Yeah, 100%. They're definitely gonna be surprised. For sure. Do you guys ever want to have a dance party? It's movable. This is great for when we're, when we're shooting. That's amazing. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for letting us do your awesome. space. Sure. It was a pleasure. Oh my God. Lots of fun. Thank you so much. Have us back to break it in and celebrate. Oh, for sure. <laughs> We're going to have to have a party soon. Very, okay. very soon. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> So this office space turned out like so, so good. I can't even believe it is where it is from where we started in the morning. I'm so happy they love it. I just, I, uh, I'm so happy with it. I can't believe how much more room it looks like there is in this office. It looks professional and neat, but still has lots of character. And I'm sure the guys are gonna be super successful in their new space. If you guys love this series, we have two prior episodes that already aired where we made over someone else's space, so make sure to check those out below and they'll be in the cards. Thank you guys so much for watching the Style Selected episode. If you did like it, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, sub it. And we will see you next time. <laughs>